This is Cindy Murray, and I'm here to give you a flip through of my 2022 One Little Word um, notebook. And my word for 2022 was now, which I have discussed many times on the Modern Musings blog and podcast. Um, but I thought I would, since I really didn't post any updates throughout the year of my progress with my one little word I thought it would be nice to share with you a flip through of my final project and this year I chose or this past year I chose to use a um, bullet journal um, so you can see it's just like a if it'll focus here a normal dot grid journal and um, I had done that uh, something similar the previous year using Allie Edwards um, journal portfolio thing that she had for sale um, but when I started the 2022 word those uh, I my intention was to use that same book again and um, it was not available so what I did was I found a larger book on Amazon um, that had the the color that I had kind of chosen for the year and um, as you can see it's kind of a teal color and I just realized that my nails match so um, but I had found this this notebook and I thought it was quite appropriate to my project for the year and so I wanted to um, use it but it was too big it was an eight and a half by 11 so what I did was I took it to Office Depot or Staples I'm not sure which I think it might have been Staples this time and had them cut it down to the size I wanted which is the same size as the original journal that Allie had for sale uh, she did get those books in later in the year but I was ready to start so I um, wanted to I wanted to get started right away and so I didn't want to wait for that and I actually like this because it was totally blank dot grid and gave me a lot of freedom to do a lot of things um, one thing it did not do was give me a lot of space because as you can see by looking at this, um, I often work very fat. Um, I have a lot of photos and um, stickers and die cuts and whatever in there. And I was doing great. You can see where I was doing great until I got to July. So there's July, okay? And then all of a sudden, it came apart. And part of that was because I put some very large format photos in here and I, I'll give you a better look at those in a moment but um, I had these I printed out these photos in um, so that they crossed both pages and I made them flip out and I wanted when I set this up I set it up for eight pages per month and in order to do those page those photos that I wanted to use I had to split them in half and then um, I had to make a fold out so that they would uh, kind of accordion out so that you could see all of the pictures and when I did that it busted the pages out of the book it was just too thick so um, what I did was I went back after it broke the pages I removed the pages that were torn and you can see right here where it's it just continues to come apart um, I just keep putting more washi tape on it so I took the pages out the offending pages out and I just started washi taping the you can see right here the pages back into it and let me pause for a moment and go get my album that this is going to go in and I will show you what I did with the pages that I took out of it. 
Over the last few years, I've been using the 6x8 albums, um, sometimes from One Little Word, Ali Edwards, sometimes one of the Christmas albums. And because I decided to use in 2021 the One Little Word journal, I wanted it to go onto my shelves with my other albums. And um, my friend Susan had given me this One Little Word uh, book, and I wanted to use it too, but I know how fat my books are, so I knew I, there's no way I could put uh, a traditional page uh, protector type project together in this tiny little book because it's it's a very small one and um so i just decided to do and um i believe she may have purchased this as a gift for me for the 2021 and i kind of went with that dot grid idea and so um and there is a flip through for this i believe on my youtube channel i will link that below but um I decided I wanted to do two years in this one book and um, so that's where this size came in um, and as you can see it is the exact same size if not a little thicker but um, and I made these little magazine holder um, things that I covered with contact paper it's like that book cover kind of contact paper vinyl um which i thought was kind of cool and so it just flips in and out or i can take the whole book out and and look at it that way and so i made one for this year as well and um then i took my extra photos that i mentioned that i wanted in my book and i just put them in here and they are outside the page protector because uh, I originally sized them to go in this book which is smaller than um, inside the page protector actually so um, as you can see there's like a, a border on each one but I thought that was a great way to um, help alleviate the little problem of this being too thick it, it was too late to salvage the book as it is so uh, as I mentioned, I had to come back and put a lot of um, washi tape and such as that in there to hold it together. And it probably will fall apart at some point and I'll have to do it again. But um, that's that was my intention with it. And, and I will show you these pages when I get to that month in my flip through. Um, but without further ado i'm going to start the flip through and i will only add commentary as needed to explain anything that i've done and hopefully you will um, enjoy this flip through and maybe be inspired to do something with your own one little word project so without further ado here is my project I hoped that they would have more movement than they do, but it's still fun. This is my vision board that I actually did on a canvas, which is on my wall back behind us here. And 
I will explain this one a little bit as well. This was an interview with my word. So uh, we had a conversation with our words and um, the answers in brown are my words, my answer. And then the answers in green, uh, the kind of uh, citron, it, it looks really yellow on up against the dark green, but um, those are the answers that I perceived my word would give to those very questions. And then, so I had it like a conversation going back and forth. This was a poem that I wrote uh, in response to the prompt from Liz. I wrote another poem. Uh, I will link the words to this uh, below so that you can read the poem, both poems. And then I just overlaid them with vellum over the photographs that I took the evening I wrote the poem. That these photos were part of what inspired the poem. where the book starts to fall apart and I keep salvaging it as best I can. This was actually a very defining moment in my journey with my word this year. Um, an incident happened and I literally fell out of a canoe and where in previous incarnations of myself I might have been angry or started placing blame or um, let it ruin my day in some way I I just literally laughed about it and accepted what happened and let myself continue to fall and you can see this is not the most flattering photo of me my pants are falling down my shirt is falling up my belly's sticking out um, I don't look very good but I was very happy in that moment I I realized that fighting all of the things doesn't make you happy accepting them does so this this word has been a great word for me this year and that um, like I said that was kind of a turning point for me so I put in the picture and then this one is a little pocket I didn't really have enough room to write the full reflections that I wanted to so I um, put it on here and just put it in a little pocket and so it's accessible and um, here's where my word started to test me and up until this point everything was doing great and then some things happened in my life um, which I've mentioned um, repeatedly on the podcast and blog so um, 
my husband was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer. I started having some problems with my hand and wasn't able um, to write or use my hand to craft for very often. I had to wear these braces. It was miserable. And um, so, uh, like I said, my word kind of tested me. And um, this is where I started putting in, uh, I, I made these, we we're supposed to be celebrating little wins. So each of these up here is a little win. And <clears throat> I had all these things in here. Um, this was a song uh, lyrics. I have a lot of song lyrics in my, in my book that um, I create a playlist at the beginning of the year that works with my word and so sometimes I will scatter those lyrics throughout my one little word and then um, here are some of the photos the, of being in the now that we did. We went to visit my mother who lives in a memory care facility because she has dementia and we um, played cards with her and had a great time and then uh, I had some friends come to visit and uh, from out of town and it was really great to see them and it was a very spontaneous and wonderful thing so um, I just embraced that time that we had together and then uh, the girls and I all went out for a brunch and to to go to a uh, metaphysical fair that um, we like to frequent and then uh, we also have a retreat that we go to every July and um, here's some of us there at that retreat just relaxing and you can see these are not the best pictures this one's a little bit blurry um, this one was taken by the waitress so I, I can't complain about it but um, you know they're they're just life as they are moments and um, and I love these because it it just is and that's part of my word and then there was another um, song lyric that I added in here just to to close this part out because I didn't want empty pages or whatever and so um, and then after the retreat I have one more just spontaneous photo with my granddaughter and like I said these all started falling apart and so I, I rebuilt this with some Tyvek um, some envelopes and I haven't covered this one up with washi tape but um, that's what's holding all of that together I need to put some more here um, since it's coming apart more but so now we can proceed with the rest of the book listen to the podcast at all you may remember our discussion of raisins in the sun uh, if not I will link that podcast below actually an interview with um, my daughter Kristen and one of my best friends Susan and um, this was the prompt for October was to interview someone about their perception of your word in your life and um, this was very eye-opening um, but also very affirming of where I 
feel like I stand in this word. So, um, I realize that everyone's interpretation of a word is not the same. And what gives some people peace or anxiety is not the same as what gives other people peace and anxiety. So it, it was very enlightening to, to look at it from different people's perspective. And um, I, I enjoyed that process. I did not think I would enjoy that process. Uh, even though the three of us often spend a lot of time discussing our uh, One Little Word projects, and we often work together on our One Little Word projects. The, um, the idea of letting them call me out on things or um, point out things that I've missed was a little bit daunting, and so uh, it, was a, it was a good exercise for me. And I just kept it very simple. Um, I used a transcribing software to, um, I recorded the, the interviews and then um, used the transcription software to um, type it up. And then I just um, used the little um, word bubbles, some word bubbles that I had um, to and I colored them and made them uh, represent each of the questions. So uh, this one was really mostly about the text. And as you can say, <laughs> um, there are some things that affirmed what I felt, you know, that, um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's very good. It was very good. And then there are some wins, and uh, I always put a, a set of wins and a reflection of the overall process at the end of each one. very quickly. Um, I didn't actually work on this at all until um, I came back from a Christmas cruise with my family. That's uh, my some of my family there in this picture. I don't know if you can see all their lovely faces or not, but um, and there's a, a little cruise ship to um, kind of demonstrate that. But after I came back, um, I decided that um, I, after the first of the year, I came back and, and worked on this and closed out my year. So that's why I'm just now making this recording and closing out my year. And this one is a lot of, just a lot of text and some kind of collage type things and some photos to demonstrate some of the things that happened including getting COVID for the second possibly the third time um, even though I'm vaccinated and boosted and then here is uh, my end page uh, ignore this this is my um, key page uh, that's where I always have like a pen test and things like that so I can see whether whether my pens bleed and um, I make a little gauge and key there but um, for this year um, I, I sketched this little uh, drawing and um, my word for 2023 will be light and I can't wait to share that with you and like I said this will this book will go into this album uh, right in front of my extra bonus pages there and then it will be able to sit on the shelf with my other one little words um, and be there for all posterity or until I decide to burn them. I had to come back in really quick because I wanted to show you something when I went to put my album my one little word book into my album I realized that my magazine holder that I made uh, did not have a wide enough um, 
thing for my book because my book is so chunky. So I wanted to make sure that I got that on there. And so I went and just cut some more out of it. And I just wanted to show you how this works if you haven't ever seen this kind of holder. I love this for putting things into, um, putting books and things like that into a, a ring binder because um, I, I got this idea from doctor's offices where they have would take sometimes the current magazines um, and I think I've seen libraries do it as well and they put them put the magazine inside of this and and it just lets it go into a ring binder so if you can see that it's kind of hard to see but you can see the holes in it and then it's got this big uh, slit right here and what you do is you just slide the book or magazine uh, from the halfway point or thereabouts into this little slit and it's going to be challenging because I'm a little bulky and not um, there's a lot of texture on this page and I'm trying not to catch anything but as soon as I can get it through to the middle oh, there so now when I close the book you can see that I have this handy little thing on there and that allows me to slip this into the rings and now my book is in the ring binder and I will get that up here a little bit closer so you can see that hopefully you can see that if it'll focus well and I just wanted to come back and show you that really quick um, so you could see how I put these two books into my album and as you can see it is still very very chunky chunkier than um, I, it probably should be in a bigger book <laughs> but um, that's that's what I have and so that's what I'm using and so I thought I'd just stick that in there for you really quick thanks for stopping by to watch my flip through I hope it was enlightening to you I promise to try to do more pictures or more videos of my progress with my 2023 20, one little word life is starting to slow down a little bit now so maybe i can make that happen and uh, happy new year to you and have a great january good luck with your one little word i hope it as is as big a friend to you as the word now was to me bye